this is Dara from Tad Attack, and um, I'm going to show you something that I've been wanting to try for a while, which is washable glitter tattoo glue, which means it doesn't last on your skin, but um, it actually washes off when you're ready to wash it off, which could be in a couple hours or later that night. Just let me show you what else I have. This is, so this is a wide body washable glue. Um, here are my glitter tattoo colors I'm going to use. They come in these poofers. I'm just going to use, this is a scrapbooking collecting glitter thing that I use. And um, I'm using an e.l.f. brush and a kabuki brush for sweeping away the glitter, a fan. This is my Dunkin' Donuts coffee that is in a Starbucks cup. I know, funny. And then this is um, the tattoo that I'm going to be doing today. So I'd like to show you... Um, you always want to clean the area first. I'm not going to do that because it's on my own skin. But you want to make sure you clean the area with an alcohol swab and then you separate the, not the top layer, but the white bottom layer off of the stencil, like so. Now this is pretty much garbage. And then you want to apply your tattoo like so and then pull now you can pull off that top layer leaving the black or the middle layer on your skin make sure you're not pulling straight up but that you're pulling with a kind of a rolling motion a flat rolling motion that tends to help and because I didn't clean my skin first, it's not sticking very well, which is hilarious. Okay, now what I'm going to do is apply the glue, a nice thin layer of this glue. And I haven't really done this before with this washable glue, so I have like no idea how this is going to turn out. Now I'm making sure that I'm not going underneath any of the lines of the stencil. Obviously hard to see since it's clear, but you just want to cover the areas that are bare. Like so. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going back over and kind of evening, even it even in <laughs> I can't say that word to even out. Evening mean Evening? I'm evening it. <laughs> okay, so you want to like make sure that there's no thicker areas and thinner areas, that they're all evened out. I don't think evening is a word. So, now you just want it to dry. So I have my fan here, which I use just to dry the area. You really want to make sure it stays really dry. Now, if I were to take off the tattoo right now, you would not even be able to see um, where it is. And even though with with normal, long-lasting glitter tattoo glue, I usually take off the stencil because I really like those crisp lines. And um, I'm not going to do that though with this. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to apply the glitter while it's while the stencil's still on. And that's really a preference. So what happens is when the glue dries, it should be tacky but not wet. Coffee break. That feels good. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some colors here. I'm going to use this purple color for the wings up here on top. And when I do this, I'm going to do it as slow, like slowly for you so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to pull it in. And you can see how a little bit goes a long way.
kind of push down to make sure it's sticking in all those areas. And then now I'm going to do the other side, which is hard for me to reach. So pushing down and then dragging in. Okay. I'm going to do a greenish blue, tealy, turquoisey color here. And just to speed up a little bit, I'll show you how I will use black for the rest, for the antennas, and for the body. Now you've seen that it's kind of disappeared with the stencil there. I'm just pushing down. take my kabuki brush and just do a light sweep off my skin and off the stencil. Let's see how it turned out. I'm excited to see how this washable glue. Cool. I think that looks pretty darn good for washable glue. So you can actually use this on your face. You can do a design on your face. You can use the glue to make sure that, like, that your glitter stays on your face for a lot longer because it's not like eyeshadow glitter that comes off on your dry skin right away. You can apply your eyeshadow like with the washable glue. This would be really cool. You could do designs like freehand on your skin. In fact, let's do one. Let's add this and make it into like sort of an armband. What's going to be cool about this is that you're not even going to be able to see really what I'm doing until after I've finished it and it's dry and I apply the glitter. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to just use this um, fan to dry that glue that I just applied freehand. I'm like adding more to this design freehand style. I'm showing like what you could do with the washable glue. I actually do have a lot of parents ask me if glitter tattoos um, are washable. I have some parents that um, are, you know, it could be their religion or it could be um, that they're doing some like very conservative event or something where they don't want their kids to be, or even the parents to be wearing a glitter tattoo at these events or at church. Um, some churches are like that. So, um, this is a really good alternative because they can literally wash it off. So the kids or the parents have like a, a chance to have a really good time wearing the tattoo, but also knowing that they can wash it off um, that same day. I don't know why I do this motion. I, I don't know if that helps or doesn't help. It'd be a good experiment to find out what dries faster. The one where I go like this. Even when I blow dry my hair, I mean, I don't have hair enough right now, but when I blow dry my hair, I kind of do that weird motion, too. I don't know why. It's funny, because it probably dries faster if I just stay still. Or maybe I have some, like, kind of problem where I can't stay still. I have to keep moving or something. <laughs> I have to be very conscious of staying still. It's hilarious. Right. So I'll put underneath the YouTube video where you can purchase these products if you're interested in purchasing them. Um, and um, you can get, you know, even the poofers, and they have brushes for sale. You get the washable glue, and you can get stencils. 
um, at www.shopglittertattoos.com and I'll put that underneath a direct link for you to just copy and paste and um, you can get some supplies off my website as well. Please visit my website. It's www.tatattack.com. That's T-A-T, -T, like tat, attack.com. T-A-T, A-T-T-A-C-K. There's no space or anything in between. All right. I want to do like a subtle, subtle look here. So I'm going to add colors that are kind of going to blend in with my skin. Um, hopefully you'll still see it on the camera. I didn't think about that first. But um, I really like, is it this color that I really like? are so pretty. It's like a peachy. I can't, I can't see around my arm. It'd be so much easier if somebody else was doing this. And then I'll do this little, like a very pale gold color. Okay, I'm just going to take the brush now, getting off any glitter that was on it, and push down. Okay, and then I'll sweep off the excess. Oh, that looks really pretty. I really like those colors together. And I'll reach around back here. I can't even see where the tattoo is when I'm doing it myself, so. And then sweep off the excess glitter. Cool. That really adds. I just really like, let's see if I can get a little close up here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye. Make sure to just subscribe.